Hello everybody, I am Mold at last, and this is Dead Rising 3 once again. What you call about? Some scrawny dude hiding and bite the bull, Sunset. <laughs> Think he needs a friend, man. Yeah, we'll look into that. As I was saying, in the last episode, we fought off a gang of bikers, and Nick got bit on the hand, because Diego went and dropped some keys in a very bad spot. Anyway, we gotta go get us some Zombrex before we become one of these guys. So, we were directed to the morgue. They keep an emergency supply of Zombrex on hand, apparently. I mean, they work with dead people, so they, they just don't want the dead guys getting back up. This world's got... has... this ain't the first time they've had a zombie outbreak in all of existence. That happened way back in 2006. That was the first game. And somebody needs help. Don't worry, I'll run some shit over for you. Here we go. There you go. Y'all, there you go. There's some help for you. I think you need a little more help, though. Imagine you're just holding off a horde of zombies by yourself with a shotgun and then an SUV plows through the building and clears them all out for you. That would be super nice, but at least we ain't got actual zombies in real world. That would be bad. Yep, you're saved now. I gotta go save myself. Level 10 reached. How much skill my points do I have? Two. Two points, and that ain't enough to get a lot of stuff that I want. New skill move and weapon durability. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'll do that. And whip up combos faster? Sure, why not? I do be needing to use some combo weapons and such. So now that you're saved, I need to go to wherever that thing is. And yep, that is a speaker, all right. Just let me back on up into it. Hello? I'm Yeah, that ain't good, but... Well, whatever. That that speaker is inconsequential. Get off of me, you little bastard. I ain't got time for you reaching through my window. I need to figure out which is the best way to get my ass to the fucking objective. And all you bastards are just being in my way and they got all the roads blocked and shit. Making things more difficult than they need to be, stupid ass traffic restrictions why can't i run the red light traffic people be damned i'm gonna run people over if i want to and yeah you ain't got a lot of well you do have a lot of stuff in here that i could probably use but i don't know how to use it i'm too dumb i don't know how to go stick and random shit together well i do know how to go stick and random shit together but some of that shit just ain't stick togetherable and what you want now man Yep, someone doing shit in the graveyard. We'll worry about that eventually. But right now, I'm trying to figure out how to get over to where this thing's telling me to go to. And I hear people talking. Yep, more of those gang guys. And didn't you just have a mohawk a second ago? Your mohawk literally just disappeared on you. How does that happen? And, oh, you're throwing bombs. Fire bombs. I'm trying to... There we go. That's how I switch my weapons. There you go. Yep. You have a mohawk that's just sometimes there and sometimes not. And... Quit dodging all my bullets. Oh, there goes the last of my bullets. Well, fine. You get spears. Spear better than bullets in some cases. Y'all should have just... Letting things slide. You should be throwing shit at me. Who's over there? You are. Take some of that. Ah, stupid. You think you got what it... Ow. Well, you got a baseball bat that can sometimes hit me. But I also got a spear. Spear stronger. Bat is mean and all, but you just... There you go. Ah, stupid. You are still annoyingly alive. 
Don't even know why I'm bothering to fight you boys, but I'm doing it. I'll, I'll quit throwing your damn fire bombs. That's annoying. There you go. Damn, how are you still alive? These dudes are surprisingly durable. Also, I ain't got no... There we go, a little bit of whiskey. That makes me feel better. My broken skull is no longer broken thanks to the power of alcohol. Eh, you might be getting some hits on me, but I'm getting even more hits on you, and you're all gonna die eventually. But I'm not. I am too much strong for you. Too much spear. Too much power. Why did I catch on fire? There is no reason for me to have being burned there. There we go. Now you're dropping like flies. And another one down. Your turn, Mr. Invisible Mohawk Man. It will stop eventually. That mohawk of yours that just won't seem to stay on your head. But it doesn't matter no more. You ain't alive. And I wanted the beer not to swing with spear. There we go. And a little bit of whiskey. Whiskey never hurt. Now get that damn spear back out. And is that a steamroller I see? With some motorcycles? Well, let me just build me a quick roller hog. There we go. Amazing how fast you're able to just slap that thing together. Now I just hope I don't flip this thing over because if I do, it will have all been for naught. And just... Yep, that's... Bus. The buses are too big to be knocked aside, even with this giant steamroller thing on here. Now then, let's just plow my ass through some zombies. There we go. Cutting right through you like nothing. Yep. You are saved. I just plowed my ass through a shit ton of zombies. There you go. Flamethrowers too, because why the fuck not? And, yep, I'll just slam into the bus. This seems to be putting us where we need to be. Coming through, dead men! Oh, oop. That took out that motorcycle. There we are. Burn them all, kill them dead. Make sure they're really dead. And I hit a splody. Good for me. Yeah, I know. I'm working on it. I'm trying to figure out which of these winding-ass roads get us to the Zombrex in the morgue. There we go. And... There, you're saved. Yep, you're very welcome. All the zombies around you have been flattened. Now just get yourself to safety and don't jump in front of me. I'm driving here! Look at you jumping in front of me like I just told you not to do. Anyway, I can't squeeze this through there, so... Ooh, safe house. Wait, this is the safe house I opened up for fucking lady a couple episodes ago. Well, safe house is a safe house. That much we know, that is true. Hey, just gonna take a quick big nasty shit. There we go. Right there. Didn't even sit down. Didn't even take off my pants. Carrying that shit with me. It's part of me. It will stay with me. Forever. Hey, fuck you, Mr. Mr. Handsy Man. Firefighter zombies, huh? I guess not even the firemen are immune to the infection. Makes sense, they're just human like the rest of us. But they are certainly killable. But harder to kill than regular zombies. Which means they're worth even more experience. There. Oh, he somehow grabbed me and got knocked back at the same time. And, goddamn, there's also fire happening. Fire zombies don't go starting fires. They're supposed to be fighting them. Spraying their fucking hoses all like, because they're zombies and they ain't got the common sense to do nothing. But still, they do their job because that's just who they is. It's part of the job. They do what they does. And there you go. That's a nice 500. What the hell just hit me? I fell down for no fucking reason. 
They was not swinging. There it goes again. Why am I falling down when I'm not getting hit? The game fucking glitched and it thinks he's in a permanent state of attacking when he's not fucking attacking, so I get hurt when I go and touch him. That's a bunch of weird shit, but who fucking cares? Zombies are dead. I ain't. And sewer entrance is right over here if y'all would kindly get out of my fucking way. There you go. Perfect. And knock, knock. I'm in. Suck that door. And cold medicine. Whiskey. Give that medicine. I'm gonna munch you down and you can just fuck right off. There you go. Zombies ain't coming in here, except they still are. Can I close this door behind me? Probably not. Give me that burger and that Frank. I want that Frank statue. Frank statues are valuable. Yeah. Time is running out. That is a problem. Holy shit. Why holy shit? All the corpses? Oh. Those corpses are alive. That's gonna be a problem. Well, no problem that just can't be simply ran through. And you fuck off, Mr. Man. And you're still alive? Probably. I don't know. I just... I, I want to pick that gun up, but I don't have the inventory space. And you are on top of me. Stop doing that. I did not give you permission to be on top of me. Nobody jumps on top of me without my consent. And there, there you go. Grab at my ankles. This way, then... We're closing in, I think. This sewer's supposed to lead us to where we're heading. That's all you need to know. And what you know doesn't hurt you, but it does hurt you, because some of that information might be classified. Did I get turned around? I don't know. I might have. Yes, I definitely did get turned around. God damn it. Now I know I'm heading the right way. Because I'm cutting my way through a huge fucking wall of dead people. Now come on, come get some, there you go. Perfect. I also wondering how the hell you can see wearing those sunglasses down in here. I mean, I'm not wearing sunglasses and I'm having a hard enough time seeing in the dark, mainly because I got that bright light shining in my face. Weapon blueprint. Electric crusher. Now, let me see. Sledge hammy. And a battery. So if I combine these two, I can... Can you pull out that burger so I can swap out something for it? And then I'll stick these two things together. There we go. Sweet. Sweet indeed. Now take that burger back. That burger has some uses... And I also got these other weapons that I haven't been using, and... Okay, those are just candles on the wall. Here we are. Yep, we're in the graveyard. Yes. Scythe... Scythe man quality. What are you doing? Hello? Talking about the zombies? Do not speak concerning that which you do not understand. These priests have stolen death from us. Yes, they have. And your death angel likes it when zombies die? Yes! Give back to the angel of death and be rewarded! Okay. Bleed them over the sigil. <laughs> Bleed them over the sigil. So. Lead them over these sigils and then kill them. Makes sense to me. Over here, dead boys. Step onto the sigil. There you go. That's one sigil taken care of. You've got more of them around here, though. There's one. Marked by a very convenient blue thingamajig. A little rhombus. That's how they mark things in this world. This land is marked with rhombuses. The rhombus shall guide you to where they need to be killed. Now, why did you not die from that? There we go. There we go. That rhombus is 
much taken care of. Now for this one, come on over here. Anyone want to get some? You know, I'm waiting for you. There you go. Just die on top of the sigil, please. There you go. That's another one taken care of. You and your angel of death will be super happy once all these things are taken care of. Now come on, somebody step over here. Come step into me, boy. You know I want it. There you go. Split your right in half. And just one more. You can just... Right here. There he is. Perfect. That's better. All the sigils are taken care of. Yeah, my life-saving medicine can wait. You got some crazy spiritual shit going on here. And, well, I did it. Okay. There is no reason for you to have done that. Why, though? I... I do not understand what y'all be doing sometimes. Just your Samyo quality shit you're talking about, and then you stick a knife in your gut. What's wrong with you? Sometimes you just gotta think things through before you stick a knife in yourself. Okay? Okay. But she didn't do no thinking. She just crazy. She be crazy like that. Bunch of crazy people. And you get out of here, mister. You do not have permission to go putting your crazy ass dead hands on me. Yep, we do need us some Zabrex. Uh, let's get it. Any day now. St. Keith's Chapel and Funeral Services. How's it going, Hawaiian shirt? Sorry about that, buddy. I thought you were one of those zombies. You got kind of a shambling thing going on. You may want to perk it up a bit. Do you Work on that. Too? I need it real bad. I mean, no, no. I'm, uh, I'm just here doing a job. I'm Gary. Who the hell are you? Nick Ramos. Hey, do you work in there? Can you help me? In there? No, no, not that kind of job. No, my boss is kind of a big shot around here. He helps people who are, uh, desperate. So he's a crook. Hey, don't be rude. I like to say kingpin. I think it sounds a little classier. Uh, yeah, kind of does. I get in there and I gotta get a body for my boss. Uh, tell you what, why don't, why don't you climb up there? Let yourself into the roof, then let me in. I know where the Zombrex is in there. You help me, I help you. Fair enough. Don't want you climb up there? All right. You don't want the Zombrex. That's not my problem. I'll catch you later, kid, maybe. No, wait. We got a deal. All right. Here. Let me do you a favor, Nick. Let me show you a little trick that'll come in handy sometime. Show you a little goodwill. All right, keep an eye on those zombies there. All right? Watch me. Oh, you're teaching us about the queens, ain't ya? Yep. Smack that queen. Now, this is the best part. There they go. <laughs> now, yep, hilarious. Your ass up there and let me in. Okay then. Goes off all the time. Right when I'm in the middle. Of the yes, boss. Yeah. Uh, no, sir. I'm 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 climbing up there right now. I'm on it. I'm all over it. Yeah, I got it covered. Yep, he does have it covered in a way. But we'll just have to see how that's covered in the next episode because I'm all out of time for this one. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching. I hope to see you in the next one. God.